What's going on, champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Horizon Forbidden West, which is an upcoming PlayStation 5 game, and it's supposed to be a sequel to a previously created game on the PlayStation 4 called Horizon Zero Dawn. So for those who don't know what a Horizon Forbidden West is, I'll give you a quick overview thanks to the PlayStation website. You join Alloy, which is the main character, which is a female protagonist or whatever, as she breaks the Forbidden West, a majestic but dangerous frontier that conceals mysterious new threats. Explore distant lands, fight bigger and more awe-inspiring machines, and encounter astonishing new tribes as you return to the far future, post-apocalyptic world of Horizon. The land is dying, vicious storms and an unstoppable blight ravage the scattered remnants of humanity while fearsome new machines prowl their borders. Life on Earth is hurtling towards another Extinction and no one knows why. It's up to Alloy to uncover the secrets behind these threats and restore order and balance to the world. Along the way, Alloy must reunite with old friends, forge alliances with wearing new factions, and unravel the legacy of the ancient past, all the while trying to stay one step ahead of a seemingly undefeatable new enemy. So that's just kind of like a quick summary for those who may not be into the gaming type of things or just not into this game in general. So basically, it's one of those action adventure type of games. Other than the summary of the game, it's set to come out sometime this year in 2021, but you may be wondering, why are you even talking about this game? What, what's so important that you need to talk about it? Well, it's Alloy herself. So what I'm going to show here is an image of Alloy in Horizon Forbidden West. And do you see anything wrong with this image? Uh, when I looked at it the first time and before I saw all the drama regarding why Alloy was trending on Twitter the other day, I didn't see anything either. I was just like, oh, you know, it's just just a character in a video game. They definitely changed how they look from the original version, Horizon Zero Dawn, but it's still Alloy. I don't really care how they look. It looks fine. I'll play the game. Well, Twitter, on the other hand, had an issue with how Alloy looked, and now the original tweet was taken down, so the image I'm about to show you guys is taken from Google, so ignore light theme. You already know your boy's on dark mode every night. But with that said, here you are. This tweet was posted only two days ago, really, as the time you're recording this audio, and it states the following. Is it me, or is Sony making their lead female protagonist look masculine as hell? Barely no curves or rough non-feminine features, unlike the average woman. Like, <clears throat> The Last of Us 2's Ellie, etc. Just saying, hashtag my two cents. Pick from the game on the left, fan made on the right, higher fans, lol. And, I, 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 I just want to get this said right away. Um... I, I could tell from the trailer, I could tell from the image I showed earlier before I showed this tweet that it was a female. And the thing is to me, yeah, like, you know, the fan made art on the right, I, I'm fine with it. You know, it looks nice, but with the context of the tweet itself, it, it just brings a bad light on the art because... The, the actual trailer, the actual image from the game, not the fan art, but the image from the game looks more like people I've seen in real life than the fan art does. Like, the only time I've really seen someone look like the fan art was, like, maybe one person back in high school and maybe, like, some popular singer out there. Like, I barely really see people who look like the person on the right, the fan-made art drawing, and while, well, yes, there are people out there who obviously look like that, I'm more likely to see people who look like the actual girl how Alloy looks in the game in real life and the fact that people have an issue with it like it looks a little bit more masculine sure but the fact that they have an issue with how a character looks I, it is beyond me. Like, how can you have an issue with this? Not only this, but you gotta keep in mind the context of the game itself, which is why I actually read the game overview from earlier. They're in a post-apocalyptic world. It's not like you're gonna be able to, you know, use a shower every day. It's not like you're gonna be able to go and just get makeup applied to your face, which makes this e make even more sense why they look like they did originally before the fan art was like shown or whatever. It's because they're in a post-apocalyptic world, they're going to have sunburns from being outside and stuff, which you can kind of see like on the cheeks and stuff. They're not going to be able to apply like fake eyelashes and makeup 24-7 because where are they going to buy it? They that's not the main priority if your world's facing extinction. <laughs> 
Not only this, but let's be honest, you're probably only ever going to see the face a handful of times because in most games like this, while you may have like the side view every so often, you're rarely going to really see the face unless it's like a cutscene or something of that sort because when you're in combat, the main focus is not even the character's looks of yourself, it's fighting the enemy. It's going after the enemy. Like your face, your how your character looks is not going to determine Hey, uh, yeah, so, you know, this enemy is going to be a piece of cake because, you know, I got that Barbie doll face. It, or it's like, oh, this enemy is going to be hard because, you know, I got that roughed up face with sunburn. It doesn't matter. It's just a face in a video game. And <laughs> I just, I don't get why people are making such a big deal about it. Like, if I was, if I ever buy Horizon Forbidden West and I play it, you know, I'm not trying to focus and be like, oh, do the characters look cute? Can I date this character? No, I'm trying to figure out things such as like, is the battle fun? Is the looting mechanics fun? Are they easy to do or is it going to be a grind? How expansive is their open world? As they mentioned, it's an expansive one. So how much open worldness is there really to it? How much variety can I get out of this game? And how much time do I think I'll actually have playing this game and enjoying it? Like I would rather have better dialogue, better quest, better just uh, uh pl gameplay mechanics than I would caring about what my main character's facial expressions or face looks like, whether they look more masculine, more feminine, or whatever. I just want a fun game. I'm not trying to play Barbie dress up in 4K. Now, there also were complaints regarding the actual frame rate of the game uh, due to a trailer, and the, the funny part about the trailer was people were just mentioning the frame rate of the YouTube video. The a YouTube video's frame rate does not confirm the frame rate of an actual video game. For example, my YouTube videos on both channels are 1440p 60fps, however I usually play games at 165hz or 165fps because my monitor supports it. YouTube on the other hand only really supports going up to 60fps, so I'm going to optimize my videos in post production for 60fps, yet for some reason I've seen some people actually think that the trailer frame rate is the frame rate of the game. And yeah, I guess it's just people wanting to whine about something on Twitter. Some people maybe just want, you know, their game to look good, but in reality, people just seem to hate on certain aspects of this game just to really hate on it. But with that said, my name's Fire Monkey. If you enjoyed today's YouTube video, consider subscribing with post notifications enabled. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it. And with that said, I will see you champs and champettes next time with another YouTube video. Peace out.